hi everyone welcome back to another edition of moment with lulu if you're new to my channel please make sure you're subscribed so you're getting notifications whenever i put up a new video in today's video i'm going to be giving you 10 things every international student must know and do before coming to canada and while in canada and information keeps changing so please make sure that you're doing your personal research and checking with your various um, institutions and province just to make sure that you're all aligned with accurate and up-to-date information and without further ado let's get right into this video so the first thing on my list is african stores so african stores do exist in canada and in across different provinces depending on where you're going to um asian stores as well so make sure that you are checking with your province to know where the stores are located so you could go get your groceries and i also need you to know that these stores are quite pricey they could be really pricey because they are limited and they know that people will benefit from this so you just need to make sure you buy what you absolutely need the second thing is to open a bank account so if you're new to canada you want to make sure you have a bank account so i know the top five banks in canada are rbc royal bank cd bmo cibc and scotia bank and you also want to know what they are offering you so you just don't want to go open a bank account with any bank at all so know their student deals know what they are offering know what is best for you and what you can benefit a lot so i highly recommend bmo i use bmo because they have great student deals great student discount as well there's the credit card system so for international students you get a maximum of one thousand dollars on the card and you just need to make sure that you're spending it responsibly and whatever money you take out of the credit card you have to pay back because if you don't pay back by the deadline or if you don't pay as you use you will be in debt so you have to accumulate interest on that card and that's not good for you number three accommodation just make sure that you have a plan like i said before in one of my videos and i know like as a student there's the on and off campus options so you just want to make sure that you're exploring all of these options and i know for the on campus it's usually quite expensive so just make sure you're going for what you can afford number three transportation so you have to make sure that you have a transportation plan if you are a university student, your institution provides you a bus pass. So it's called a U-Pass that you can put on your student ID that lets you access the transit system as your train, your bus. Yeah. So just make sure you have a U-Pass. So as soon as you enroll for classes, make sure you go grab a U-Pass because as a student, you need this. It's more cost effective. And also there's something you need to keep in mind. You need to be enrolled in classes to qualify for a U-Pass. But if you're on like, let's say you have a summer and a spring break where you cannot get a U-Pass, you need to get the bus pass. So they have the monthly pass and they also have the weekly pass. Depending on what you can afford, just check with your province to know which bus pass is the right one for you. And also ask about deals. So as a student, you want to be taking advantage of deals and discounts as much as you can. For those of you who drive, have a license back home make sure you're coming with it because it's possible for you to upgrade five discount app so you want to make sure that you have so much resources in terms of discounts i highly recommend groupon groupon is the one i use to ensure that i have all the discounts i need for a particular store so if they, if you want to buy an item for example you have to go on groupon to check if there's any discounts or sales being offered on that particular product you want to buy there's a student price card so that's something where you get 10 percent off so if you're banking with CIBC currently, you're supposed to be getting that card for free. So you just need to make sure that you have the student price card that offers you 10% on so many participating stores here in Canada. But if you're not a customer with CIBC, you can pay to get this card. Anyway, that's just something you need to keep in mind. So make sure you're asking for student deals. Any store you go to ask if they're offering student deals. It took me about two to three years to discover that Nando's offers student discount. Number six, communication and language is very important. So I know sometimes it could be a challenge if you're like moving from somewhere else to somewhere else. Like the, the whole accent challenge, take your time while expressing yourself. You know, it only gets better with time. Just don't feel discouraged while doing this. Express yourself. We all come from different regions and countries and that's what makes us all unique people. So Canada has two official languages, English and French. And prov the province of Quebec 
is a province that they are so predominant in French. So for you to go there to school and to work, you need to make sure you have some French language proficiency because if you only know how to speak English, it's going to be quite um, difficult for you to adjust and maybe to get a job. So just make sure you're taking this into consideration if you're looking at going to the province of Quebec. And other provinces, like some are predominantly English speaking and they don't really mind and English and French, depending. If you have French, it will be a plus for you. So just make sure that you are, you know, exploring your options. The seventh thing is to get a health card. So make sure you have a health card, a gym plan and an insurance, a health insurance plan. So what I mean is your university provides your gym and your health insurance plan. And make sure you do not opt out of this plan because your health is something that you should take seriously and you just never know like even if you've never been sick your whole life it's not the best thing for you to opt out of your health plan and like the school has provided your health card you want to make sure you're getting it from the registry get it as soon as possible because even with your health plan you you may not be able to access medical services because you don't have a health card yeah it's just how it works the eighth thing is a social insurance number so you want to make sure you have a social insurance number in order to work and your id card so that's another important one because having a study permit and a work permit is not enough you also need a social insurance number to be able to work and for um canada to you know keep a record of your work history you need it it's very important and you also need to keep in mind that your social insurance number your health card and your provincial id card all have expiry dates and you want to make sure that you're renewing all of these as soon as possible like don't wait for them to expire to renew renew months before they expire because it's just best practice in canada you can only work a maximum of 20 hours as an international student while going to school right. number nine your international student services i already talked about this um these people and make sure that you're accessing these people as needed like do not don't, you don't need to go pay someone else for information you can get from your school. Like, why do that? If you're looking for your resume improvement, your um, job opportunities, immigration questions, whatever it is, go to your international student services. They will help you. Like, it's part of your tuition. They have all the resources you need. They can also make referrals for you. Number 10 is to file your taxes. Let's say, for example, I worked in 2019 and this year is 2020 you need to be able to file your taxes from the previous year that way you can get some money back from the government it's just good for your record like as a as a resident so yeah that's the end of this video i hope this was a helpful information to so many people out there who want to come to canada and people who are also here trying to navigate a new place for them so i will see you all next week bye now